Welcome back to Lexington Legends Baseball, presented to you by the fine folks at ADI. Proud sponsor of ADI Fireworks Night, Legends and Jackets. A 3-0 advantage for the Jackets after a half inning. The left-hander Madison Bumgarner steps out. Bumgarner on the air has struggled in his three innings of pitch. Selected as the Giants' third best prospect by Baseball America, he's entering his second professional season in his first professional start. He recorded a loss on April 6th against Greensboro. He allowed three consecutive singles, a double, and an RBI sack fly to start the second inning that played in four runs. The tenth pick overall, first pitch to Matthew Cusick, outside for a ball, 1-0. Matthew Cusick hitting 393 with no home runs and three RBIs. The 1-0 pitch in there for a called strike, 101. One ball, one strike, no out here. Bottom of the first inning, Legends trail the Jackets, 3-0. Cusick swings and misses. One ball now with two strikes. Cusick outside for a ball, two and two. Out of Lenore, North Carolina. He's age 18 years old, 6'4", 215 pounds. But his high school ball at South Caldwell in Hudson, North Carolina. Born in Hickory. Get a chance to go home this year in the South Atlantic League. 3-2 pitch, Cusick. Fly ball along the left field foul line. The third baseman, Davis, makes a nice catch. And the Legends have their first out of the inning. So a fly out to the third baseman, Davis. And that brings up Craig Corrado. Corrado hitting 406 on the year with no home runs and five RBIs. Left-handed Bump Garner versus the right-handed hitting Corrado. First pitch in there for a called strike. Slaps the 0-1 pitch into right field. Underneath it is Simmons. And he'll make the grab. So after three pitches, Bumgarner, two outs. As uh, Colin Alonso steps to the plate. The low one for four. The run scored last night. Hitting 161 with a home run and two RBIs. The low tonight is the aging. First pitch to Collin, side corner, in there for a called strike, no balls, one strike, two outs. DeLone fouls this one back, 2-2 to, to uh, DeLome, inside for a ball, 1-2. and two. One, 2 pitch, outside corner, 2-2. Two and two. Two, 2 pitch to DeLome. Swung on, belted, left side of the infield, knocked down by the third baseman, and DeLome has a base hit. So a tough play for Davis as he knocks the ball down, but DeLome has a hit, infield hit. Will help Collins average significantly.
balls, no strikes to Steve Brown. He swings and misses. Brown hitting 200 with the one home run a few nights ago. And six RBIs on the year. Runner leads from first to home. No balls, one strike, two outs. He pitched to Brown, swung on and missed. No balls, two strikes. Bottom half of the first inning. Legends trail the Jackets, 3-0. Three, three hits in the first for the Jackets, as well as two errors led to the doom of the Legends. Brown slaps this one down the right field line, foul. from first alone. The 0-2 pitch. Curveball bounced along the left side of the infield foul and will reset here with no balls, two strikes. Runner leads from first alone. The pitch swung on and missed and Brown is out of the inning with the strikeout. We'll be back on the Legends Radio Network. Jackets lead the Legends 3-0. That is abrupt darn the number third, number three best prospect in the Giants organization taking the mound tonight for the Augusta Green Jackets and uh, Bump Garner. One of the top ten prospects in all of minor league baseball. Obviously, out of high school already, a part of uh, a talented North Carolina system that has supplied so many of us with some of the better talent in uh, Major League Baseball, as we've seen just really recently in these last couple of series. Born uh, August 1st, 1989, 6'5", 220 pounds, reported to camp about a 13 months ago. First pitch to the left-handed swinging Max Sapp in there for a called strike. And quickly Sapp down 0-1 to Bumgarner. 0-1. Slap back foul 0-2. Sapp comes into today's game hitting 208 with one home run and five RBI. Had the night off last night as Kevin Carkey played first and Jonathan Fixler got to start behind the dish. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, and sat down on strikes quickly, and the Legends with one out here in the bottom half of the second inning. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bumgarner, and that brings up Brandon Barnes. Barnes last night went one for four with a run scored in an RBI, getting 160 with no home runs and three RBIs on the year. Playing right field tonight. Legends back to their white unis after wearing the red last night. First pitch to Barnes, swings and misses, 0-1. 0-1, outside for a ball, 1-1. Barnes on the ear. 2-11 against right-handers, really struggling against lefties as he swings and misses. Martin says yet to record a hit in six at-bats. For one strikeout. One bum garner only lasted three innings and his first appearance this year. Perhaps an inning or two coming up. One-two pitch, swung on and missed. And Barnes downs on strikes and three state strikeouts for Madison Bumgarner. And that brings up Eric Taylor. Taylor and Enters today's game, hitting 240 with no home runs and no RBIs. Eric Taylor.
Pitch, pitch to Taylor, swung on and fouled back, 4-1. No balls, one strike, two outs. Bumgarner's pitch. High, ball one, one one. Fernando Abad not warming up in the pen anymore. Perhaps he'll be uh, taking the hill in the, this next inning. We'll see, one one. Slaps back foul, one and two. Last 10 games. Eric Taylor is hitting 240. Well, obviously, the last 10 games, this is 10 games. In the last five games, Taylor hitting 200. In 10 at-bats, he has two hits. Both of them in Asheville on Saturday. 1-2 fouled back. 1-2, and two, we'll do it again here with two outs here in the bottom half of the second inning. Legends trail the Augusta Green Jackets 4-0. Dreadful first inning for Colt Adams and the crew. Three runners across. 1-2 pitch inside for a ball, 2-2. Two two. Legends hit 241 in the first five games, hit 243 in their last five games. 2-2 pitch, bouncing ball to second. Picked up nicely by Noonan, the throw to first in time. The Legends are retired in order. We'll be back on the Legends Radio Network. Legends trail the Jackets 4-0. This game is great, but I need to get up and stretch. My muscles have been really sore lately. Really? Have you tried massage therapist for that? No, you know, I've always wanted to go, but I don't know anyone. My chiropractor, Dr. Slavic, recently had a massage therapist to his staff. I should give her a call. And she's great. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just might do that. Hey, didn't you go to the chiropractor last year when you got injured at work? Yeah, I did. Dr. Slavic not only resolved that injury, but now I'm seeing him to help my golf game. I had no idea that chiropractors could do that. Not only that, but now he sees my whole family. Everyone is healthier and really notices the benefits of keeping their spines in line. Well, I definitely could use that. Uh, does he take your insurance? Yeah, he's on all the major insurance plans. Just call Welcome back to the Legends Radio Network. Rob Gidell, Andy Shea here in the booth. And uh, Andy Shea, the general manager of the Lexington Legends. Andy, I know you've got to be happy with the crowd tonight here on Saturday. Pretty chilly evening, but the uh, fans came out for Transformers, I think. It is. It's uh, kind of what I've grown to be accustomed to with the nice little never know what you're going to get in Kentucky April weather. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good crowd. I think the Transformers definitely brought some people out here. Andy is also a part-time scout with uh, the Houston Astros, so it's fun to certainly analyze uh, games with Andy. He's been doing it for a long time. Obviously played his baseball at uh, Boston College for a year and a half, so he knows the game as good as anybody else in this area. First pitch to Ronnie from Bump Gunner, inside for a ball, 1-0. Andy, let me ask you a question I was kind of curious about the, a couple days ago. We've seen Chris Province throw a pretty good uh, performance while this as uh, Ramirez ducks this one along the right field line for a base hit around first and heading for second is Ramirez to throw in from Simmons. will keep Ramirez at second, but Ronnie up with a leadoff double here in the bottom half of the third. So there's a nice hit for Ronnie. First hit he's had since Asheville when he let off the ninth inning with a double in game two of the year. But when you see some of these pitching prospects, we're seeing another one tonight. He's the third best prospect in the Giants organization. What do you look for as far as high schoolers that can go from high school to the pro ranks quickly? Main things really are velocity and body. You got to look and see what they've got in their body, if they've got room to improve, room to grow, strength to gain, strength to improve. Um, and then velocity, you know, I think a lot of the a lot of the organizations, a lot of the systems feel that they can teach a guy how to throw a curveball and that they can teach a guy, you know, on the other hand, there is a lot of it as a feel. Um, you know, you can't just pick up a ball and start throwing a curveball. But uh, the other thing I love to look for is movement because that's natural. That's something that, you know, goes with the holds on the ball and, you know, kind of how you whip your wrist. Bouncing ball by Moresi to the first baseman, Bill Lona. Nice scoop there. And Moresi is retired to ground out to the first baseman. But everyone that I've talked to, you know, they'll tell you that they'd rather hit off a guy who's throwing 98, uh, 98 mile per hour arrow when it's going straight rather than a 90 mile per hour cutter, splitter, someone's got some movement on it. Legends have been held to four runs, or excuse me, two runs in the last three games. Uh, two of them by Nick Haggett and Chris Province. Of the two, Andy, that you saw, who was the best prospect? Because we saw Province. Uh, obviously throw uh, five no-hit innings 
I'm sorry, not no hit, no run innings. And then Haggerty followed that up with the two hit performance of his own. So which one of those two did you really, you know, kind of get it pretty much uh, the best impression of? I still like Providence. Yeah, I talk about command, and uh, you know, he really he had the stuff, and he he was just on. You know, that's that's the only time I've ever seen him, so I can't speak for much. But if I'm writing a report on the guy after that one time, that was pretty impressive. Charlie Taylor agreed with you. One ball, no strike, one out to Matt Cusick. Bouncing ball to the first base side. Villalona gives chase, but it goes foul, 101. That's the same thing with our guy today. You know, when you go out there on the hill, you got to be ready to take it. Uh, whether it's 40 degrees, 90 degrees, I can't imagine too many scouts will care and give you the benefit of the doubt. If you come out and you're not ready to pitch, um, you get lit up. That's what happens. One ball, one strike to Matt Cusick. Came into today's game hitting 393 with three RBIs. Bouncing ball to first. Villanova scoops this one cleanly. The runner will score from third. Ronnie Ramirez and Cusick is retired here. Bottom half of the third, but situational hitting. A RBI ground out for Matt Cusick. That's his fourth RBI of 2008. Right, did what he had to do. That's right. As what you've seen thus far, Andy, what's really been kind of the biggest detriment for this team starting off two and seven? Really consistency. They, there are some guys that have it. Uh, I think it's just consistency. I think, um, you know, we saw it Tuesday when they put up 13 runs. They've got pop. They've, they've got the ability. Corrado bounces this one up the gut. Nice play by Noonan to throw to first. Not in time as Corrado beats it out. The catcher, Klimas, not happy with the call, and neither is Madison Bumgarner, the pitcher, but nonetheless, Corrado in with a single. Nice scoop by Noonan there at second, though. Well, that's great hustle. That's the other thing. Everyone always tells you the two things you can't teach someone is arm strength and foot speed. It's true. You knew a little bit about foot speed. Broke a couple records at Boston College running yourself. Got that Shea speed. There we go. A little foot speed out there. <laughs> Get First display it every once in a while in the office, too, right? <laughs> That's right. Running from uh, Mario Anderson, our promotions coordinator. <laughs> one ball, no strikes, two outs. Four to one, the Legends have cut into the 4 nothing lead with one run here in the bottom half of the third. 1-0 pitch to Colin DeLome. Still waiting for Colin to explode. He's a guy, I uh, love watching him swing from the left side, and I think he's got a lot of, a lot of Pepsi party deck home runs in him. That's right. He hit one on uh, Tuesday, I believe. In the 13 to 2 debacle. Corner leads from first, Corrado. 14 for 14 in minor league baseball and stealing bases. DeLome slaps this one back foul. Two balls, one strike now to Colin DeLome. Colin played at uh, Lamar and had an interesting take on um, playing college ball, Andy. He said, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really necessarily where you go to school when you play baseball. It's whether or not you get a chance to play. And I thought that was uh, pretty telling. Just you know, sometimes we get caught up in the LSUs and the Georges and playing in, you know, the big time. Uh, schools, the big-time conferences, but a guy like Colin got to play every day at Lamar. He groomed and grew and uh, got a chance to play Major League Baseball, professional baseball, I should say, because, you know, he got a chance to develop. He is 100% correct. You look at guys, uh, you know, I'm from Philadelphia, so two of my favorite players, Chase Utley, Ryan Howard. Utley, he's a guy who played at UCLA, Pac-10. He was a All-American, Cape Cod League. Ryan Howard, who's a Rookie of the Year, followed up by MVP, played in southwest Missouri at another D2 school where most people never heard of, have no idea what southwest Missouri is, <laughs> let alone an athletic program or a college, um, and he's an MVP, so he's exactly right. It's just uh, what you've got. There are so many scouts out there and so many people playing baseball that if you're good, you're going to get found. Two balls, two strikes here, two outs, bottom half of the third inning, runner leads for first, Corrado, always a base Stealing threat there, 14 for 14. He goes from first. The 2-2 pitch outside for a ball, and Corrado has stolen his 15th base in his minor league career. Now 15 for 15, Andy. That's pretty good foot speed himself. He can fly, but that's that first step. Oh, my God. He, he was halfway down the base path before the catcher even touched the ball. That's pretty impressive. Nice read for Corrado. And that's as much about base stealing as anything, right? Just being able to read that pitcher. Oh, you're exactly right. There's a... That's why, again, you know, back to the scouting world, there are two things. There's foot speed, and then there's base running. 3-2 pitch to Corrado, swung on and missed, or excuse me, DeLome, and the Legends are retired here in the bottom half of the third. We'll be back on the Legends Radio Network, top of the fourth, coming up. My mom's ironing board. Useless. Right.
There was stuff just waiting to be turned into cash. Cash we could use to get a great tasting sandwich. Thanks to Celebrate Restaurants, 269, Sub of the Day. So stop by the yard sale. It's all 269. Why not spend your 269 on the Sub of the Day from Subway Restaurants? That's right. Get the featured regular six-inch sub for just $2.69. Limited time offer at participating Subway Restaurants. See participating restaurant for details. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates, Inc. Subway. Eat fresh. Four to one, the Green Jackets lead it. Keith Elkins along with you in the, through the middle innings. Rob Fidel, the voice of the legends, will be back later in the ball game. Steve Brown will lead it off for the home club here in the bottom of the fourth. He struck out his first time against this left-hander, Madison Bumgarner. Four strikeouts in the game. For Bumgarner, hasn't walked a batter as yet. Brown was a strikeout victim his first time. Stands in now, leading it off in the fourth. First one goes high and outside for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Here's the next one from Bumgarner. It's low and in, ball two. So Brown moves out in front in the count. He'll be followed by Sapp. Bumgarner works quickly. There's a fly ball to deep center field. Jordan on the move near the track. Reaches up and can't make the play. Here is Brown around second. He's on his way to third. And the throw there. He slides. He is safe. And Brown is in there to lead off the inning at third base for the Legends. Jordan went back. Looked like he might have a play on that ball. But was unable to make the catch. And Brown is safely on at third to start it off for the Legends at the bottom of the fourth. Catcher number 27, Max Sack. So Sapp has an RBI opportunity. And the first one to him is out, you know, catches the outside corner for strike one call. Sapp was a strikeout victim in the second. Here's the pitch to him. He swings and misses. Stri strike two. The stretch by Bumgarner looks at third in the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to the right side. Slowly hit. And the run will score. As Little Lonely make the play at first base unassisted. But a run is across as Brown comes home. Sack with the RBI. Didn't hit it very hard, but hit it in a good spot to the right side of the infield. And the run scores to make it 4-2. to two. So Brown led it off with a triple. And Sapp follows with the ground out to first base to drive home the run. Base is empty now, and Barnes takes one low and in for ball one. Next one from Bumgarner on the way. Grounded down the right field line. Foul. Just foul and out of play. Evens a count of one ball, one strike. Barnes. Taylor on deck. Bumgarner into the wind, and the pitch is grounded slowly to second. Newton feels it and flips to first for the out. So Barnes has retired four to three, and that'll bring in Taylor with two out and nobody on a run home for the Legends in the bottom of the fourth. First baseman, number 33, Eric Taylor. Taylor came into the game at a batting average of 240. First one, check swing, and it's strike one call. Nothing and one to Taylor. Legends trying to put their third win in the books for 2008. Time called now as Bumgarner was ready to deliver. And we'll do it again. Davis at third for Augusta. Corona at short. Noonan at second. Villalona at first. And the pitch comes low and in. Two balls and a strike to Taylor. Batting with two outs and nobody on. Bob of the fourth. 
The wind and the pitch by the left-hander. And looks like that one foul tip, the bat of uh, Aaron Taylor. It's a count of two balls, two strikes to Taylor. Ramirez waits on deck, but there are two down. Here's the pitch on the way. There's a slowly hit ground ball to second. Noonan's got this one as well. Flips to first, and that retires the side. But the Legends get a run on a hit. And at the end of four complete innings of play, it's Augusta 4 and Lexington 2. You're listening to Legends Baseball on Honey, the Legends. Honey, check out the Radio Network. Network. Right, I got it. Worse. You then find out the treatment could result in incontinence and impotence. <clears throat> you do have a choice. St. Joseph has the state's only high-definition Da Vinci S surgical robot. The most precise, most advanced treatment available. Call 859-313-4746 for more information. Or visit stjosephdavinci.org. Saturday night and the Augusta Green Jackets lead the Lexington Legends by a score of 4-2. Augusta four runs, six hits and no errors. The Legends two runs, four hits, and a couple of errors tonight. A new pitcher in the ball game for Lexington now is Fernando Abad, a left-hander, 6-2, 170-pounder from the Dominican Republic. Comes into the ball game with no wins, no losses, uh, an ERA of 150. He's appeared in three games. Pitch six innings, allowed five hits, one home run. That's the only earned run that he has allowed. One base on balls and five strikeouts. And the first batter he'll face is Nick Newton, the second baseman. He's two for two tonight with a triple and a double. Takes a strike from a bond, and it's nothing and one. End of the wind is the left-hander Abad, and this one crowds Noonan off the plate. And it's one and one. Baker waits on deck for Augusta, and then Bond as the Green Jackets bat in the fifth. Jackets of every color in the ballpark tonight. It's a cool night in Lexington. Fans enjoying the ball game as we move into the fifth inning. There's a ball to Noonan. Two balls and a strike to him. Abad works quickly, and the next one is popped up on the infield. Who wants it? Abad's going to take it right on the pitching rubber. And there's one down in the top of the fifth. Normally the pitcher will give way to the infielders. That one not quite high enough for everybody else to cover the ground and get to the mound. So Abad just waved him off and made the catch himself. And Newton has popped to the pitcher. Fielder number 21, Garrett Baker. Garrett Baker stands in. Reached on an error and struck out. Bats in the fifth with one out, nobody on. First one from Abad to Baker. He didn't mean to swing and a little roller right back to the mound. The pitcher has it, turns and throws, and there are two down. So Abad is on his way to an easy inning. hopes to be. He's retired the first two. And caught a pop-up for the first out and threw the second man out himself. Here's Brock Bond, the DH. Right-hand hitter takes the first pitch low for ball one. It's 0 for 2 tonight. Came in batting 429. Two out, nobody on. Abad pitching in his first inning. Throws inside. Here's the next one. And that one is in there for strike one call. Two balls and a strike to Brock Bond. Angel Villalona waits on deck. 
But there are two down as Abad tries to set him down in order in the fifth. Here's the pitch. There's a line drive foul down the right side and scatters the players in the Lexington bullpen. 4-6-0 and oh for Augusta. 2-4-2 two, and two for Lexington. Abad winds and fires. Here it is. There's a line drive into right center field. Moresi over there, but coming across is Brown, and he makes the catch, and that will retire the side. So the Green Jackets go down in order in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've completed four and a half. Augusta leads it four to two. This is the Legends Radio Network. Hips are great on the ball field, but not on the highway. If you're enjoying the game in your car, please buckle up. Don't drink and drive, and be patient on the road. Just like in the game, the plan is to arrive safe at home. This summer, don't just get behind the wheel. Get behind a winning attitude. Drive smart, Kentucky. A reminder from your Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. Legends fans, the Lexington Clinic Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center offers a sports injury drop-in clinic Monday through Friday at 7.45 a.m. with no appointment necessary. Visit lcsportsmed.com and get back in the game with Lexington Legends team physicians, Drs. Kibler, Dome, Hester, and Hawk Copeland. Lexington Clinic Orthopedic Sports Medicine, where the pros go. What's an unexpected bonus? Well, it's finding 20 bucks in the pocket of the pants you haven't worn in a while. Now, doesn't that feel good? It's the same feeling your car gets when you fill up with Chevron gasoline. Every gallon of Chevron has an added bonus. Techron, to help keep your car engine clean and performing the way it's supposed to. Your car wants more than gasoline. It wants Chevron with Techron. The gasoline with an unexpected bonus. Tonight at Applebee's Park, the visiting Augusta Green Jackets lead the homestanding legends 4-2. Keith Elkins working alongside Rob Goodell tonight. Glad to be with you on a Saturday night from Applebee's Park as the legends bat in the bottom of the fifth inning. Ronnie Ramirez will lead it off. Doubled and scored his first time back in the third. It's a 2.05 start tomorrow afternoon as these teams continue their four-game series. This is the second of four. Augusta won the opener. 9-4. Ramirez takes a strike to start the bottom of the fifth. Bumgarner into the wine. And the pitch is grounded hard to second. Noonan's been busy tonight. Fields it on two hops and throws. One down. So Ramirez is down to start the fifth. Nick Moresi stands in. Grounded the first in the third inning. That moved Ramirez over to third from where he scored. Another grounded first by Cusick. Major League Baseball, the White Sox beat the struggling Detroit Tigers this afternoon, 7-0. Tigers now 2-9 after loading up over the winter. Here's the pitch. There's a sharply hit ground ball to short. Off the glove of Corona and into left field. And Moresi turns first. He'll hold there. We'll see how they score that one. As it was a hard hit ball, but Corona went over to backhand and couldn't come up with it cleanly. And Moresi is on at first. So runner at first, one out in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring in Matt Cusick. Here's the stretch. And the first one to Cusick is in there for strike one call. Moresi leads away at first, a stretch by Bumgarner, and the pitch is outside. Evens the count of one and one to Cusick. Moresi's one-out hit was the fifth of the game for Lexington. He gets a short lead over at first as Villalonia holds him on. Here's the next one. A high pop fly on the infield. Corona calls it, waits, and has it for the second out. Moresi has to dive back into first. No throw over there. 
And there are two down. That'll bring in Corrado. Craig Corrado, 406 average coming into the game, flying to right in the first, and single, stole a base in the third. Stands in there now with a runner at first and two out. Ramirez bounced to second to lead off the inning. Moresi singled off the shortstop's glove into left field and then it popped a short by Cusick. And that's where we are right now with Corrado batting against the left-hander, Madison Bumgarner. And the pitch to him is swung on and foul back for strike one. No balls and a strike to Corrado. DeLome waits on deck. But Corrado will have to do something to keep it going. The pitch, there goes the runner. And a swing and a foul back almost in the same spot. So Moresi will have to come back to first. And Corrado is in the hole at 0-2. Stretch by Bumgarner, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul right at the plate. And the count holds it, no balls and two strikes. Red Sox and Yankees in a rain delay at Fenway. Boston leading at four to three in the bottom of the seventh. You can hear a complete wrap up of scores following the game on the Budweiser scoreboard. Corrado stands in. The 0-2 pitch from Bumgarner is on the way. And here it is. There's a swing and a slowly hit ball to short. Corona Fields scoops to second for the force play. And that will retire the side. So short to second. Records the final out of the bottom of the fifth. And no runs on one hit for Lexington. And we've reached the end of five innings of play. The score, Augusta 4, Lexington 2. And this is the Legends Radio Network.